guys, this is what ladies think about you when you start making it in life because you're giving them an own taste of their medicine. You're either gay, you're homophobic, or you're a misogynist. You can't win with them. <laughs> You heard it, MABW team. I'm back. You know, guys, I've been in this space now for about, I'm going on, as of August, I'm going on my third year on YouTube. I've been welcomed with love by a couple of people. Got a couple thousand subscribers. I appreciate all my subscribers, all of y'all that rock with me. I rock with y'all. Y'all know that. I try to respond back to everybody. I give my opinions on certain stuff that I think that women shouldn't be doing. And to any of my guys out there that want to come into this whole called MABW type space, this MGTOW space, this red pill space, guys, get ready to be called all types of names, but just let the just let it roll off your back. Just let it roll off your back. These women will call you all types of names out the blue just because you're telling them what you don't like as a man. But for years... And I mean for years, since I was a kid, I've stated this before. These women, they've had all these talk shows, all these movies, everything that have berated men for so long. And now men, we finally have a space to come to where we can talk to other young men on what they need to watch out for with women. And the women don't like it because they can't get away with stuff that they used to get away with before. Men aren't falling for y'all little tactics anymore. And you got people like your boy MABW and other men out here in this type of space that I'm in telling men what to watch out for. And women don't like it. Y'all don't like it that we state that you women are hyper consumers. Y'all don't like the fact that us men state that if you women want certain things, well, we don't want certain things either. It's a switch off. It has to be some type of switch off. Oh, well, you don't like the Cheesecake Factory? Well, I don't like your busted lace front. Oh, you don't want to go to the walk in, you don't want to go for a walk in the park? Well, guess what? We ain't going nowhere. On a first date, I got to take you to a five-star restaurant? It doesn't work like that. And this is the type of stuff these women, they want men to actually believe. They want our young boys to be raised up and believe this type of stuff. As well as these simps out here too. That are sticking up for these ladies. Talking about I'll take her anywhere. Happy wife, happy life. We need to stop letting our young boys out here and young men believe this type of stuff growing up now. Because the fact of the matter is things have changed with western women. And no man out here can deny no man out here can not deny that. You can't deny that at all. You see it every single day. You see what's going on. You see how they're taking and ripping men's pockets off in marriage or in divorce. You see this stuff every day. And then when men come out here and talk about it, you must don't like women. You're a misogynist. He hates all women. The fact of the matter is, I love women. If you know, you know. I love women. But at the end of the day, I don't have to fall to what y'all believe is the real standards of how men are supposed to be with women this day and age. Y'all want men, these women out here, they want men to actually be indoctrinated to believe that men are supposed to slave their life away to give them everything that they want. Bow on their knees and let them pretty much run your life. This is how a lot of women out here act. Us men are supposed to give them everything and we're supposed to get nothing back. And then they want to shame us men. Well, if you don't buy me a house, you're not a real man. If you can't get my hair and nails done, then you're not a real man. And some of these men actually believe that type of stuff. I have to do this because if I don't do this for her, 
I'm not a real man. To my guys out there, you're real men even if you don't do that for her. And in all reality, all you're doing is standing up for yourself and telling these ladies out here that you're not accepting this tomfoolery anymore. Where you have to drain your pockets day in and day out to make them happy. You have to succumb to their every demanding need to make them happy. That's not, that's not how life works. And women out here, they don't want to hear that. They just don't want to hear that. They really hate that us men are in this space talking about this stuff. And they want to call us every single name in a book. It don't matter to me. Y'all can call me whatever y'all want. I'm still going to be here and I'm going to be here for a long time. Until the day that God is willing to take me off this earth. I'm going to be here for a long time. Giving men information that they need to know. Giving young boys information that they need to know. Something that you mothers need to teach your daughters. But what are you mothers out here teaching your daughters? Y'all out, out here telling these young girls, y'all daughters, y'all pretty much teaching them how to be like y'all. And y'all don't got a man. And y'all are not married. It's so funny how these women that aren't married, don't got a man, been on welfare all their life, depend on a man, they try to give their daughters advice. How can you give your daughter advice? When all you do, you grandmothers, you mothers, all y'all do are post pictures on IG, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever social media site that they got. All y'all do is go on there day in and day out and show how y'all can be smuts and how y'all can take away from men. And some of y'all got grown daughters out here in their 20s and 30s and y'all still be getting on these social media sites twerking with them. Talking about what designer bag a man needs to buy her or what type of designer bag a man needs to buy you. And us men supposed to just do that? We're supposed to just get you this designer stuff and spend our money just because? Just because? Men have figured it out this day and age. And now that we're now that we figured it out, y'all don't like it. Men are standing tall, and I'm 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 happy to be in this space to help a couple of men out, to tell certain men what I've been through. Hopefully, they can avoid it. What I want to tell, I, I I like telling men what they need to expect when they go through the family court system. I like looking at the guys that have actually been through divorce that could tell me something about marriage to make me not want to be married. Because of what men have been going through with divorce. How when how when men get divorced, the court system isn't on the man's side. They're trying to whoop the man day in and day out in the court system. Making billions of dollars, giving it to, giving it to these women through the court system. And men have to start all over again. I'm giving men on at I'm giving men advice on how they can avoid that type of stuff. Like I've said it before. 50 to damn near 69% of women, they initiate divorce first, but they also want marriage all the time. So you telling me these women want marriage, but at the same time, damn near 69% of women are initiating divorce for, uh, first. Why is that? Why is that? And when I come out here and state that, well, they only want it because they want the nice ring. They want the nice dress. They want the big reception. That's all a lot of these women want out of life. Why do they want babies? Some of them want babies so they can get child support, Section 8, food stamps. All these things that I've stated, they seem to be true. Women feel like they're dominating, or at least census bureaus talk about how women are dominating in the job market and are outpacing men with degrees and jobs. Really, how is that? Because it seems like a lot of these women that y'all claim are so-called outpacing men, they, st they, they still need support from men. Whether it be through family court, getting child support, spousal support when they get divorced. They swear they're so independent, but they always need a handout. They always need something. They always want the government to drop their student loans. If they're getting such good jobs after going to college, why do they want the government to drop their student loans? Pay your loan off. Nobody forced you to go to college and get that loan. Forced you to be $100,000 debt, $200,000 debt to get a $40,000 a year job. 
guys, y'all let me know what y'all think. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'ma holla back at y'all later. Peace.